Two million tons of fishes, shrimps, and crabs changed hands in this market in Fuzhou City last year between traders from China and ASEAN countries. That involved 30 billion yuan worth of transactions, and they are all done here, the China ASEAN Marine Product Exchange. Started in 2015, the exchange allows for real-time pricing and settlements, making spot trading more efficient. The transactions are all dealt in the Chinese yuan to reduce exchange rate risks, which also has a positive side effect for the currency. Both pricing and settlements are dealt with in yuan. Both buyers and sellers, no matter what country they come from, need to hold yuan to trade. So this will increase the use of the Chinese currency internationally. Trade relations between China and ASEAN countries go far beyond marine products. In the southern end of China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region is the country's only bonded port on the western coastline. It is bustling with activities in the Qingzhou Free Trade Port, and behind me is the ASEAN market, an integral part of China's Belt and Road visions. Through here, China is exporting farming machineries and equipments to Southeast Asia and importing things from raw materials to passenger cars. 1.4 million containers passed through the Qingzhou port in 2016, up 60% year on year. Under the Belt and Road Initiative, we're speeding up the development of this port. We're improving shipping to railway connectivity and streamlining customs procedures. At the same time, we're building industrial zones around the port. What Mr. He is referring to is the nearby China-Malaysia Qingzhou Industrial Park, jointly set up by both countries' governments. The zone's president, an ex-Malaysian trade official, hopes his country's palm oil and rubber makers could in the future have a presence in the park, which promises such things as tax breaks and rent discounts. When China requires bigger, order, bigger orders, they can't, they can't uh, they can't supply because uh, the production in Malaysia is, is so small for Chinese market. So what we can do, I, uh, through this platform, we hope that Malaysian companies uh, can come into China to set up plants to work with uh, Chinese company to explore bigger market in China. The park has a counterpart in Malaysia, the Malaysia-China Kuantan Industrial Park. It is what officials call a two countries, two parks cooperation mode. Before this, in Malaysia, no one knew about Qingzhou. And also in China, no one knows about Kuantan through this bilateral cooperation on these two country twin parks. More and more Malaysian and Chinese, uh, they, they, are now, they now know more about these two places. Officials hope this cooperation mode would be a pioneering step on the way to achieving a China-ASEAN free trade area in the future. Yang Chengxi, CGTN, Qingzhou, Guangxi, Zhuang Autonomous Region.